six here. That's a lot. We're taking nine. Jeez, bro. <laughs> we roll double ones, which means we could roll another one here and win. Uh, full block meter, so we can absorb two shots. Oh my gosh. From hell. From hell. Making content for you guys is a full-time job, and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today, we're doing a Pine Clone Sunstrike deck with a lot of other cards also that work very well uh, with Sunstrike. Sunstrike is the card that's going to make all of your minions have strike through that turn. It'll be very good to be playing onto a board of Pine Clones. Uh, you're going to get all these three threes. They're easily chump blocked, but again, if you have Sunstrike, it'll just absolutely uh, wreck anybody if you can get a lot of pine clones. You can get a lot by using your shroom for twos, uh, your puff shrooms, which is going to be just free, cheap little minions with little buddy. Uh, even raptors is an okay target, three cost, two, three, three stacked up, okay target for pine clone. You also have the uh, more spore here, which is actually very good in this solar flare deck. Um, okay, so what are the other combos that we have in this deck, particularly with Sunstrike? I'm really interested interested to see Velociraptor Hunter into Sunstrike, because Sunstrike will make the two Dino Roars activate of these two minions. So it starts at two, uh, they're already going to have four attack. You Sunstrike, that's a minimum of six, and if this has grown an extra time, they're going to have like eight attack. It's like a really, really big shot a sunstrike shot that again it's spread out across two minions in one lane so it's very difficult uh for them to remove both of these cob cannon not only is a very good removal card and an alternate finisher in case you don't get pine clones but again huge heavy hitter uh, at least for now that the bounce patch has not taken place it's also running gloom Shroom. uh you can also use your molecule after your pine clones in order to transform them now uh, the, a card that I really had room for, like, one more card after all that, of course, running Berry Blast, and I decided to go with Haunted Pumpkin. First of all, we needed a little bit more early game. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to play this. It probably depends on the opponent. Against opponents that it's good, like, let's say we're against Super Brains or Huge Giganticus, that's good to just put aggression on the board, and they don't really deal two damage very well. We're just going to be playing Haunted Pumpkin aggressively, turn one, maybe turn two into Raptors. Uh, and worst case scenario, you're going to turn this 4-2, they'll put something with two attack in front of it, and you'll turn it into uh, a Pine Clone. Otherwise, we're really just going to stall with our Shroom for two and Superpowers and Berry Blast first couple of turns, set up a big Pine Clone, and then you can actually go Haunted Pumpkin plus your sun strike all in one turn the fact this is a cheap one cost very heavy hitter especially if it has strike through i'm really looking forward to seeing the good haunted pumpkins at the end of the game it'll just put again one more minion heavy damage threat on the board together with your sun strike in order to uh finish off your opponent i want to see if this works uh, definitely open to making some changes here we'll see how the deck goes hope you guys enjoy let's get right into it um, these games should go relatively quickly. If you think we are going to win 8 out of 10 vote, yeah, 7 out of 10 is going to be a no over here at the live stream twitch.tv forward slash. Fry them up. Pumpkin could mill them. I, I doubt it because the games are not going to be, there's not going to be a lot of other, if you're, you can really only mill opponents if you have Pogo and Bug and Backyard Bounce and Zombot Stomp. Really hard for plants to do it. Alright, so let's try... I think I'm going to be ruthlessly mulliganing for Pine Club. Oh, man, this is a start, though. I might do this on ground just to, like... I, I, one, two, three, four. Let's try it. I think you have to sort of... I'm going to mulligan hard for Pine Clone every single time, since it really does glue this deck together. But, you know, Raptors into Molokale, that's two four drops on turn four, which is really good. Um, I'm really just going to try to look at the opponent, you know, I mean, he doesn't deal so well with Haunted Pumpkin on turn one, there's something. I guess this goes on... The Shroom for two or the or the Velocir Radish really want to go on heights. I think I'm going to do this and I'm going to commit the Scorch here. It keeps a 4-1 alive. It's probably about as good of a Scorch as we're going to get. This dude's running pets. I am scarant. <sighs> we need a leap! We need a leap! There's 
little buddy. It's been a while. Hello, Carter. Six months. Appreciate it. So, playing this here sacrifices two damage to the block meter, but it plays a little bit better into... I think I'll just do this now. We'll see if he gets Acid Rain. Ah, uh, but yeah, that's that's a lot of damage, and we should be able to have a pretty good Molokale. I'll probably commit this next turn. Maybe I should have gone here. That would have been smarter. To protect the 4-2. But yeah, the opponent's just playing these really slow... Kind of non-answers. No Acid Rain. That's nice to see. Pine Clone off the top of the deck. Too bad. I'd love to Pine Clone this instead of Molokale. Oh, that's pretty good here. Thank you, Akira. So this 4-1 probably won't gain very much. These will. Is there a... I think I got a Molokale here. Let's stack these up, too. Uh, it just adds more damage to the board. Hopefully this has, you know, at least two attacks. Uh, oh, snap. We got some clap. We need a leap. We need Your mom a has clap. Yeah, two You're a cool guy not guy. great four drops. <laughs> but it looks like we got the opponent down to one health. Ah, oh, rolled a three. He's a very blessed. Not necessarily. <sighs> and double berry blast will most certainly do it. Thank you, Akira. And thank you, Keep, for nine months. Thank you so much. So cool of you to say that. But yeah, this guy is just running brain freeze pets, so this is this is guaranteed, right? Yeah. We is one and oh. <laughs> this guy thinks pets already already got buffed. No one's gonna talk about anything except for the the imminent balance change. We'll see if it actually happens. We still don't know it's necessarily gonna take place. Why is Barry Angry not in this deck? It's not a super high value card. There's 40 cards in the deck, that's fine. What, instead of uh, Molecule? I don't think so. <laughs> Brain Freeze Pets, you're also getting like the buffed one cost Ducky too. I could see that being pretty good. Primally, who is this? <laughs> it's a sniper. Let's look for Pine Clones. Just what I do today. I just, well, I'll keep this because of Cheese Cutter. Uh, I like the double Raptors into the Sunstrike, though. Okay. <laughs> this is a silly, silly sn sniper. Is Pine Clone inspired by Star Wars? What does the description say? You can pretty easily tell. This dude! Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Yeet! A lot of people really did not like the, uh, the proposed- Okay, what is the point of us playing this? What is the purpose of this game here? <laughs> I don't understand. A lot of people really did not like the the, the leak balances. I, I really like it. I'll, I'll take anything, man. Uh, this one, I think. <laughs> Don't lose the baseball zombie. I got rid of the baseball zombie before it was too late. There's no rest to Sunstrike. What is actually happening right now? La 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 Phase for 4 damage? <laughs> Playing around going viral. Okay, terrifying. <laughs> Should I not count this? Oh, the YouTube stream's not up? Really? Yeah, it is. It's on uh, Frame of Gaming. Oh, it's unlisted. Whoops. 
And I completely forgot to update the info. Thank you. I spaced out. Let me restart this. Completely. Uh, swimmer. <laughs> Why no? <laughs> this isn't fun. I don't understand. La 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 la. We gotta get rid of the goat, guys. It's gonna kill us otherwise. No, no, no. Yeah, free win. <laughs> Running literally all the worst cards in the game. Have I made a deck with four swabbies, four goats, and then secret agent and swimmer and yeah. Yep. And maniacal F. Oh ho ho. Wait, does it go down to zero two now? <laughs> zero five, okay. I understand. Alright, well, we can sun strike at least. So that's awesome. Pretty good sun strike. Got that photo. Huge synergy. I think we're gonna win. Well, I copied the zero two stats, and then it went up to zero five. stream going YouTube streams just take so long to load they gotta improve their streaming quality uh, should we count that as a win <laughs> I think I'm gonna not count that game. That's kind of boring. You guys rank 8, so we're not gonna count this either. I'm just gonna concede. What is happening right now? I know the season just reset, but you still gotta be 10. I'm not gonna start making calculations what point of the season it is. If you're ranked 10, I'll play you. Otherwise, insta concede. Everyone's ranked 30 now. Post the reset. Oh, pine clone. Two pine clones. <laughs> I'll keep very blessed. Zonk. Yeah, YouTube's kind of being ridiculous. No, 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 no. Uh, cool. Uh, I wonder if it's worth going after this goat right now. It plays around Hover Goat pretty well. I know this is a 3-3, but this goat could really end up taking off later, so I'm gonna, unfortunately, sacrifice this valuable zero-cost 3-3 here. Especially against pet decks. Kind of just have to understand the matchup. Like, we're setting up for big plays. The opponent is just rush, rush, rush. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Turning this one into a pine clone will be pretty good. I know we're feeding him a card. Including, like, a monster, like one of the yetis, could be a pet. That's okay. Still too full. It's a two for two, and he draw a card. Slowed him down. Sunstrike. So, little tiny pine clone incoming. I guess this will go on heights. Doesn't really matter. It's kind of cool that the pine clone like gives you like card draw too. And that'll be six damage. It's like a third of his health. 
even the, you know, not the greatest pine clone ever, but we have the second one. If we top deck like a shroom for two, that would be awesome. Uh, all right. there's a go. What is he doing? I really hope he doesn't have Extinction Event, though. That would be devastating indeed. Really, the only thing I don't want to see here is Extinction Event. Otherwise, I don't care. That is fine, and that doesn't even live, the Hover Goat. Okay. Opponent's out of cards. He got this big 6-6 six, six going on in the water. Uh, we're going to almost for sure Sunstrike here. And who knows? It's, the fact that it gives you the trick is just a little more sustained. I like it. It's gotta be Sunstrike, even though we would love to save it for the Raptor. We need this damage. What is with this, though? Why did he commit that? It doesn't make sense. It's in the box. Oh! So this will go up to 4 health? I like it. It's not great, but it's not bad. So we're doing 12. Why commit the goat there? Put the goat in like he doesn't know I have Sunstrike. Put the goat in three, bro. So we have two more shots we can take. There's Cobb Cannon. In fact, it's three more shots. We can play Cobb in four here. Oh, great. Now 2 0. The longest 2 0 ever. <laughs> this stream's gonna take forever at this rate. Okay. Mulligan for that early game. I think two of these into into Sunstrike is fine. Well, hopefully we'll get like our yes. Gosh. So we have one, two, three. It's kind of ridiculous. So, do I go after the Gravestone with my Raptors, or after the Headstone Carver? The Gravestone will be a 3-attack guy, yeah, I'll just go after the Headstone Carver. This will definitely scale faster than, uh... Than the Swashbuckler will, anyway. We're probably gonna go for, like, Shroom for 2 in front of the Swash. And then Raptors and Sunstrike on turn 4, which will be 5 Sunfrits. Na 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 It's a very plus. It's coming. I think here, I think this is fine. No flame face. Is little buddy here to keep the stats down? It's like a 1 1 buff. I'll very bless this one. My gut says keep it since we have Cobb Cannon and Pine Clone. See what else he's got. Deadly. Ugh. Okay. Honestly, it just makes a difference of killing the front Raptor in lane 2. It's okay. This goes up to like 3 5 now. Let's see what we get here. Okay. Uh, Gloom ain't bad. Especially if he commits something here. I think I'm gonna do the Gloom instead of the Sun Stray. Na 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 Probably have you actually watched Star Wars? I watched some of them. I watched like, the original ones like when I was way too young. I could not follow them. Um, then I watched like episode one and then episode two, which was Attack of the Clones. I didn't watch any of the ones after that.
So, not, I don't think we're gonna Pine Clone. It's probably just gonna be Berry Blast, Sunstrike, and maybe Commit Little Buddy. <laughs> commit Little Buddy? Sounds like we're <laughs> committing a crime. I just started playing today. Which packs should I prioritize? Cool. I would say, in general, Premium. The, the base set. Premium packs. And then Galacta. All the packs have good stuff, but uh, if you want to watch how I started a new account and how I prioritize getting like Agro Solar Flare, which by the way sh should not be uh, what you craft now because it's going to get nerfed. But um, yeah, ignore the whole thing I just said. That free to play series in two weeks, if this balance patch comes out, is officially not going to be a thing. All right, well, we were very far ahead there, so that's going to make it three, you know. Pretty good. So far, so good. I, I'm, I don't know what I would need this for. I guess, like, to combine with something to kill a space-time or a teleportation zombie. I think I'm just gonna look for Plank, though. Or we'll just get Berry Blast. Here we go. I can tell this is going to be a fun game already. HG Super. <laughs> so... It's got to just be Scorch. I don't know. Do we set up Stream for two? If we draw into Pine Clone, then this is a good thing. If we don't draw into Pine Clone, then what's the point? I think we're just going to do this. It, it'll take this off the board. Uh, so he's not getting, like... Um, I don't know. Thinking Cap buffs. I think you'd have to top deck it or else it costs three. We really need a Pine Clone, though, with all these little buddies and Stream for twos in hand. Uh, this will go... doesn't really matter where. This is a little bit safer against Laser Base Alpha, so I guess we'll go with that. What do you do if your game says no game found? Change your phone's language to English. Damn, so yeah, at Area 22, rough. <laughs> Wait, what? So we'll just bury blast that. It opens up the area and we're not running in fireman. It's a little sad, but we can't have space time conjuring stuff the whole game. We're really just waiting to draw into something to use these little... Are the little buddies dead? Like, the shrooms are not dead because of the... Um, oh man. The shrooms are not dead if you don't get Pine Clone. At least because of Gloom Shroom. I guess everything works with Cobb Cannon. Yeah, this hand is kind of bricked without Pine Clone, though. Well, definitely one of the, um... One of the less good things about... Pine Clone decks is that you're running all these little cards that kind of need Pine Clone to be good. It's definitely part of the trick is utilizing them. Wow, this will be... Ah, oh, that would have been so good if we could actually play it. So I'll go for the cop cannon next turn, deal with the gas. It's so much damage though, it's 12. Ugh. We can do like the raptors, little buddy, and then we'll grow. So doing this in two has got to be correct. Goodbye. We'll take five damage here from the gig explosion. It's pretty good. Yoink. It's okay. Let's see if he has a rocket or something. Probably won't have anything to do here. 
Laser. But it's a zero attack card. Oh, weird. Molecule. kill. You know, no, no, no. What is he going for? Turn six, Bad Moon Rising? We could just do the... The Molecule now. I think I'm going to do it now. I, I guess I should commit this little buddy as well, right? I, I guess do I play here, this here to play around Bad Moon Rising? Just to keep our 6-6 six, six alive. We'll grow after, obviously. So here's some 4 drops. Soul Patch. Uh, bean counter? No. Oh, I really thought he had like a Bad Moon Rising from the first turn, and we. Oh no, it's gonna go all the way through now because he had the freeze. That's so annoying. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, he actually doesn't do the deadly. Uh, he, the, the, it doesn't hit the soul patch. So who knows? Maybe we'll get a berry blast or something here. The reason is because the wing nut prevents this frenzy from do from happening. So that's awesome. We can roll a one and win. Okay. Uh, everything's getting hit by the... <laughs> it's got so many environments. <laughs> everything's getting hit by veggie mutation now. There's pumpkin. This is still deadly. Ugh. And Soul Patch still dies. I have, there's no point in pumpkin anymore. Is this even a good vegetation mutation now? No, I should have let this hit face, obviously. Because then we could have killed this and keep these alive. This was such a bad play. I, I goofed. Actually, this would kill and then this one would hit face, yeah. There's no point because none of these are hitting face anyway. I don't get what just happened. Why is he conceding? It took too long. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't care. <laughs> Four and oh. We'll count half of that and half of the, 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 the dumb sniper. We'll count those two as a win. Now what? This is not a good card against Zmac. Really would like to get Pine Clone. Come on. Gosh. What am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Just rush with Haunted Pumpkins? Should I do this? Fine. I, I, in an aggro deck, I would take the 4 damage to face, not go for this trade, but since this is somewhat of a slow deck, his z -Mech Super still splashes this for free, unfortunately. Fry, the YouTube stream shows your 530 pixels high. What? Five hundred and thirty pixels high? What does that even mean? What? So now what? Okay, so he commits this. Now I'm going face because we can bury blast this later, so I'll take the damage. Oh, the red lines, I understand now. Now what? Probably I'm gonna use the berry blast to go face here. What the hell? Sumo? 
It's gonna be Sumo. So he'll grab this one, I guess. Why? Why not keep your flag zombie alive? I guess he cares more about his face. Maybe, I mean, I don't think Crow Magnolia is very good with puff rooms and stuff anyway, though. I'm just trying to think, is there another way we can be utilizing this? Like Elderberry. I guess Elderberry would make sense. What is this vampire? Why is this here? Why not here, though? I don't understand the point. Why would you play this to face? There's no, like, Terrify. There's no Smoke Bomb. I'm very confused. It's hard to say which one. Probably should get the Vampire there, though, right? That's why. Okay. Honestly, we'd rather this non bullseye one be hitting face. It's Cobb Cannon. So I definitely want to save the Pop Shroom now. I could end up just feeding this, though. Ugh. Like, I want to go more Spore and then Molokel. If we, if the more spore ends up here, then we commit this, I guess. What about the cub, though? It's probably still worth her. I don't know. Please give me something good that doesn't just die for free to. Okay, well, since we got Rotobega, <laughs> he's doing nine damage. Can we make it 11? <sighs> My bad. Yeah, it's game. That's guaranteed. Thanks, Rotobega. <laughs> it's so unlucky. I guess there's other two drops like Banana Launcher that do zero there, but. Alright, for 4 and 1. I'm going to take a look at the stack because it seems like we need more cards to utilize. I don't think the Molokale is it. Like, maybe we should just be running Elder. What else would use the little cards well? Briar Rose. I guess just anyway, big beefy minions to use these to, like, front. Not Molokale, it's not it. So we could just go with more Gloom Shrooms here. It's also good with Sunstrike. Have the Pumpkins been good enough? Any more data, I think. Is there a 4 drop we could run? No, 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 no. Just like this, man. Hey, hey, people, it's me, Sandwich to Sandwich. Remember to subscribe to Fry on Twitch, YouTube, and OnlyFans. This could... Thank you, Sandwich, 29 months. This also helps the little buddies be more useful, since you can, like, put them in front, and it's basically protecting your big minion. And making, you know, the good trades. Guess that's right. Yeah, Elderberry and Sunstrike is a little sad, but we kind of do could use a four. I think I'll just do it like this. Maybe I should just run Elderberry shamelessly, even though it's a Sunstrike deck. What if we do three Sunstrikes? I like that. I don't think the Sunstrikes have been too much, actually. I should run Pepper MD. <laughs> That'll be good. No, let's not. Uh, let's just run this. The curve's a little bit high now, but I really just got rid of molecules and put in two more Doom Shrooms. Gloom Shrooms. So. Run Fig. I don't know. Crow Magnolia, I don't feel like, really solves the, the Puff Shroom and Little Buddy problem. Because Little Buddy will be a zero... Will be a, sorry, a 2-1. And then the Little Puff Shroom will be a 3-1. 
it just turns you're spending all these resources out of your hand all these cards and then you're not really giving them health and you can get field cleared very easily why do i <laughs> you know what let's just hard mulligan for applying clone every game there you go way better hand though that's so annoying could you not I, I am so sad that I don't have the answer to this. <sighs> That's rough. I did end up making an OnlyFans. It's probably deactivated, because if you don't post on it for like three months, it gets deactivated automatically. So. Unseedling. Okay. I don't really know what to do here. I guess if it takes a card out of his hands, this is okay. It's fine. So now we have too many pine clones. I don't get the cons the pine clone consistency. Sorry, I didn't actually change the deck list. Here's the new one. Wrath. That's so annoying. Double wrath. It's like guard mech. No 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 no. Getting a mushroom on the tab deck would open up the gloom shroom here. Gargologist. Good old Gargamek. Remember this day. It's running out of cards a bit. Usually doesn't run anything too expensive too, so keeping the Scarbellage on the board doesn't matter that much. That's annoying, because in order to efficiently spend our stuff this turn, we gotta use tricks. So see there three three. Honestly, maybe just letting these two hit face like this is the way. And not scorch. Oh, uh, we can go three and four maybe. Alright, I think this looks good. And I'll take the face damage. Keeps the health up on the cab cannon, too. Uh, relying on the Garg getting blocked here because we're leaving the uh, Quasar to life. So you're six. Yes. Uh, so... We had seven this turn, yeah, so we can go with the Gloom Shroom play. Holding on to that means this Gargal just kind of dies for free. <laughs> Shroom's Gloom Shroom looks like it, eh? That's fine. Uh, so six and five... If we do it here, we get six damage to face. Do it here, this card lives. I'm just thinking which lane to do the uh, the Gloom Shroom. I guess if we do it here too, it basically kills us because it'll be two and four. So even if he going virals, I think this is the smarter play. Uh, we'll have another Gloom Shroom this way too for next turn. 
Let's go. We're losing a little bit of damage, but countering his play when he's down to one card and keeping this. Does that live now? Okay, so we'll take six now. Man, that's rough. Actually, we lost a lot of damage because our five doesn't go face either. The good news is Scorch will usually just kill this. Or the Gloom. They'll probably just make a little chump lock play in one. So we did. So it's five. Uh, it's guaranteed. PM value! <laughs> oh, there we got very angry. Your guy's favorite card. All right. So, five and one. Pine Clones beats Gargmech. This was me and Bidorni before the tournament. We had, like, gaming sesh. He was so sure Gargmech was good into Pine Clones. Solar Flare Pine Clone deck, specifically. <sighs> but yeah, we figured out figured out together that it's not the case. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we didn't end up using that Scourge. Gloom Shroom kind of carrying there. Rank 7, so we'll can see. No, 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 I got us down to one health, but that was a close game. We haven't gotten like the amazing pine clone yet. Let's see if we can actually. Here we go. Here we go. We gotta defend against cheese, but this will still again stick around for a few turns. Perhaps become a pine clone. You guys felt like that was a comeback? I felt like we were we had that we were kinda even with them the whole time. Uh that's annoying. Well if he has acid rain, I guess that's okay if you just use that mushroom for two, right? Yeah, deck's doing pretty well so far. Wow, he didn't have anything. Oh we got away with the murder there. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so we can't commit the the, the Spore because we, we won't be able to Pine Clone, though. Unfortunately, that's okay. I'll take three Pine Clones. No, no, no. Pop Shroom Tap there. We'll use this together. I think I'll go lane four here to leave these middle lanes open for all these Gloom Shrooms incoming. At least no extinction or supernova garg also it kind of messes up. Teleport. Not a whole lot you can teleport in and wins the trade other than Moonwalker. So probably teleportation zombie. Typical Immortisha card. Yeah, Immortisha has extinction event and supernova garg to counter pine clouds. Uh so it's turn five. This two, the seven brains is now because of cryo brain. So the opponent can only teleport in a three drop. So I think we're going to commit another card here since it's really not a whole lot it's going to be able to even do. Wow, science. Oh, drone engineers. I really thought there it's going to be teleportation zombies. It's a rocket. Uh, the the gloom stream will take both of these out here, which is awesome. So it's kind of like using more spore to remove a couple of three ones. Very cool. And it's nice. I like we, have, we obviously haven't had the great opportunity to play Sunstrike yet, but we're coming up on it. Oh, man. I think I'll commit the more Spore here so we can play another Gloom Shroom on an empty field. This is just a three one. We're at 20 health. It doesn't do anything. Like, the uh, on a full field, I mean, like, we can go Pop Shroom, Gloom Shroom again. We're, the Gloom Shrooms are gonna carry this game. Look how good they are. Underrated. Piano! Get a 3-2, please. It's fine. Uh, uh, that's guaranteed. Got him! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Probably not the strongest opponents today, but... I guess Gargamek is probably an over... above average... card to just bump into someone. That was a science... With, I don't even know what it was doing. 
<sighs> Here's a pine clone hand from hell. It's just about surviving. Can we get our ultimate, please? Pretty please. <sighs> uh, it's probably the worst one. Okay. Honestly, not so scary, because it'll just give us superpowers to answer more things down the stretch. Roll double ones, that's nice. Forget about what I just said, guys. So, it, it could just be Conga. <laughs> I'm probably going to go Raptors anyway, just in case it's Swash. I think I'm going to... It smells like a Conga, though. No, it's Monkus. Okay, I get it. Overshoot. Then you steal the block meter back. The little two block meter that we got from two shots from this. Oh my gosh, stop rolling ones! Holy crap! <laughs> Coming up on a decent looking pine clone here. I think I'm gonna go like this. It's damage. It's four damage here if we hold the super bar. Bungie. Bungie. The blocks. Uh, so do we want two damage to face, or do we want some... Some extra... Jeez, I think I'm doing this. This allows us to play Scorch together with the Pine Clone. Yeah. Or Pumpkin, if we want to. I don't know about turning Haunted Pumpkin into a Pine Clone just like this, though. Kind of sad. Uh, against Infinity, though, it's probably okay. I think I'm gonna do it. There's no real point in Scorching here. <sighs> Is that a Line Dancing Zombie? Let's hope it's not. Okay. So we're taking six here. That's a lot. We're taking nine. Jeez, bro. <laughs> we rolled double ones, which means we could roll another one here and win. Uh, full block meter, so we can absorb two shots. Oh my gosh. From hell. From hell. I wonder if I should berry blast face. Let's see what he plays. Okay. What's in the box? <laughs> um, so I think it's Scorch because he procs the block. No way, he wins this though. Wait, should I berry blast face here? I can't remove both of these. Maybe not sun striking and just well. Should I just berry blast face? If I berry blast face, I'm gonna go for this. I think. Yes. I think we win. I think that's it. There's nothing you can do to manipulate block or remove minions. This is infinity. It's not gonna help anything. Okay. We got him, guys. <laughs> yes! And we win! <laughs> GG! Yoink! We. I mean, that's what we came here today to do, so heck yeah. Seven and one. That was awesome.
And we got him, yes. Okay, brainstorm. I think we always get rid of this. It's a hand. <laughs> so, uh, into Raptors, this probably is good against Brainstorm. It, it's so much pressure. Like, we don't have... I usually say you need a good, like, 3 and 4 drop, but even 3 into Berry Blast, this is really gonna... It's a really strong card against Brainstorm that, you know, 3 Berry Blast and then just whatever else we draw into here is... Gonna be fine. A Pine Clone wouldn't hurt. Even Sun Strike's pretty damn good. So I guess this goes on Heights. If he plays a Gravestone... Let's see what he does first. Barrel. Thanks. No, 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 no. Final doesn't do a whole lot anyway. Top deck Pine Clone? Can dream, can I? Do I sunstrike here for six damage? It's probably just three if he does the. Oh no! Uh oh! Wow. Okay, so he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna do the funny, funny. For a final mission, so he'll still have two brains left. I guess I just berry blast here. Uh, shroom for two, obviously not. It's a set of gloom shroom, no way. He does have the final, so he gains one extra brain now. I, it's too slow. Like, you gotta play get minions that are not, you know, stuck in a barrel or a gravestone to be synergetic with the mustache waxer. I guess that's okay. Can he do something with the one brain? He doesn't even do anything, so... It kind of just defeats the purpose of having this if you're not using the extra brain. Otherwise, it's a one cost two, three. It's just whatever. Ah, uh, that's a really good top deck, uh... <laughs> Puff Shroom here it allows us to do the Gloom Shroom clear on two, again, decent, decent minions. And we'll hit him with Sunstrike, I guess, next turn. Oh, he's mad. Grave. Try to teleport in Gravestones next turn. We'll see how that goes for you. Yeah, I'm not so sure about committing this this room for two here. I mean, it, I can't imagine there's really a lot of... Maybe I'll just commit one of them, like half measure. It's cool. Ah, uh, yeah, keep the health on this up. It's gotta be right. And this goes up to 6-4. Ridiculous. I love how this is all going face, but it's 11-12-13 now. Subject to just removal cards. That's so slow, bro. And now Bungie doesn't do anything. Yeah, <laughs> the photosynthesizer clutch. Don't have a second one. Come on, man. Bruh. <laughs> That's so annoying. That's 6 damage. There's a difference between them having 1 health or 7 health. Dude! Well, he has no bungees left for this, so I guess that's a good thing. What is past turn six? I have to play around chickening. There's no way I'm feeding into this. I have to, right? Uh, do we play around chickening? I don't know what he's running so far, so he's running barrel fireworks, he's running mustache. Would you run chickening in a mustache deck? There's no way, right? He doesn't have it. No, he doesn't have it. Screw it. There's no way this dude's running chickening in a mustache barrel deck. It doesn't make sense. If he does, he can have my pumpkin. It's fine. There you go. Teleport. Backup dancers. Missed completely. Oh, fail city. I love this giving us superpowers, too. Just offensively, we'll be able to clear lanes. Quasard, please. That's huge. Huge heal. 
because we're just out of power. Getting this from the photo and that double bungee man. Come on. It's so annoying. Uh, we really need a Pine Clone for this hand or a Gloom Shroom. I guess Cobb would be good. I think Late would be good. One mop, one mop beans. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go three and four, I guess. This doesn't really help, too, because we need just pressure. Like, I, I w any other... Oh, this doesn't really... Healing, healing here it doesn't... We're not in a race. We're he has card advantage, we have health advantage. I hate this. So I'll put the raptors here, I guess. If he plays. Guess this is fine. It basically keeps a 4-2 alive. Feed! The stream going on YouTube, yeah. Okay, so we got that from Eureka. <laughs> just need some, uh, yeah, just flake in cards, just nothing that costs one or two. Most of our deck is fine. Another Sunstrike would, would be cool, too. Sunstrike Clutch? Just anything from, like, Raptor and above is fine. Here's Cab Cannon. Love to see it. So we'll do Shroom for two Cab Cannon. And hopefully open this game up. <sighs> Double Trickster, jeez. So we can do it here. Kill this Trickster. And then block these two. I guess that makes sense. Should I be going face for six though? Maybe I should go face with this one. You know what? It's seven. <sighs> I should have gone face. It's my bad. So I should have... Well, well, no, I can't do it in this lane. I probably should have done it here. I have to go face with this though, right? We're out of steam. Now we're in a race. So the play would have been to do this one in lane one. Oh, then you can't do the shrooms here, though. Uh, honestly, arguably, that was still better, because you can't feed the shrooms to the vampire. That wouldn't work out. I think you gotta take the seven damage to face here, though, right? It's okay. The leap doesn't station doesn't do anything with Trickster. So we'll take five. He's taking heat. It's just gonna come down to draws. Kinda clutch. Come on, plant food. Hammer. I don't like it. We can roll a one. No, we can't. No, he rolled a one, so we lose. All right, well, <laughs> I couldn't have scripted any better. We're in a 7-2 classic. 7-2 scenario. Oh, this trickster just came in hard there at the end. I don't think we can make... There's a really strong argument this deck's not running enough late game. Have the pumpkins been worth it? Playing against crazy heroes. If we're playing against a huge giganticus or something, they'll be much better. Here we go. One up, one up. Seven and two scenario. So we want to go fast against this guy. Uh, come on, what, what do I do with this hand? Mulligan for Pine Club? Not the hand we want against Ishii. Now I want my, my Haunted Pumpkins, but yeah, that's just unfortunate. I wonder if I stick a stream for two on this. I guess I do. Fry, when are you playing in a tournament? I don't really have plans to do that. It just takes way too much preparation time. It doesn't get a lot of YouTube views, so... 
You know what I mean? I have a job. I have two jobs. Peevesy Heroes and Bloons Card Storm content. I guess here. Come on, Pine Clone, one time, please. Especially against HG. Doesn't really have answers. Okay. High roll stuff incoming. Come on, Pine Clone. Gloom's cool. It's about five, six. But he's just gonna do this. Very treasure cheese. Turn four, Baboon Rising. <laughs> Swabby. <laughs> Blob. <laughs> Why am I so stupid? <laughs> so. I I'll play around bonus attacks and do this, I guess, right? No bonus attacks for you. It also is going to be 2 damage plus 3 from the Gloom Shroom next turn, so that's something. Now what? Teleport? Nebula, yes. Wow, so the Gloom Shroom is going to not kill that. That's fine. Play around the bonus attack, though. It's the way, and we'll have the cop coming up. So this guy's kind of out of steam now. So, uh, it might just be Gloomshroom Little Buddy here? It's kind of sad. It's gotta be right there, right? The co I know we have the Cobb Cannons. I mean, Little Buddy, he needs this to live, right? He's not gonna... Tri he can't triple bonus attack. We have to remove this. Like, if we do it like this, well, he doesn't... He could rock it, and then what do we do? Well, then we just dry Cobb Cannon. Alright, it plays around rocket science. I guess I'm gonna begrudgingly, even though this is automatic removal with the cop next turn. This will usually do the trick. Leap to a 4-drop is fine. Stonkadonk, and he gets the Dino Roar. Okay! <laughs> the plot thickens! But yeah, that's it. So you don't even need the cob removal anymore because we committed this. Otherwise, you know, it's fine. We still have this set up for the Glimshroom, so... Or just dry cup. It's a good place. We do actually have emergency removal with cob Cannon in one. The guy's really just running out of cards. Man, that's so annoying that this doesn't die to cob Cannon. DUDE! FROM WHERE?! From buried treasure, okay? It's not the end of the world here. Um, we could go face for five bullseye. Just playing co cob cannon never really makes sense. You go haunted pumpkin to then proc the block too. I mean, probably just slowing the game down is the is the way here, right? So let's take the bullseye damage and use this to block the ten. I guess that makes sense. It's feeding him a card, though, which is sad. But we can't take half our health down here. Teleport. A little weird using the teleport like that. In fact, oh yeah, yeah he only had two brains. He couldn't have teleported Zomba there. So now if we get like a removal, like a team up, the Cobb Cannon's good. Really, every card in our deck is pretty damn good here. Uh, Gravestone, fine. We'll just go after the Zombot. So we'll do it here. Opponent's gonna... has one health. Should empty the block meter. Also gets this down. Gargle it. What the hell? Where did he get this from? From Pumpkin. It's my fault. <laughs> God damn it, Pumpkin. That's so annoying. Okay. But yeah, Cobbin 2 is fine here. He's just running out of options. He has environment. I don't know if it's going to help anything. There's Blob. Why not? Second Blobbing? 
Anyway, this has to be the play. We have two lethals now on his face. He's got... I mean, I guess teleport blob bonus. Gosh, there's one teleport. Let's see if he has another one. Bad Moon Rising. <laughs> he got Undying Pharaoh and Disco Tron. He got two answers. Now what am I going to do? I already used my Cobb Cannons. I don't have any left now. Oh my gosh. Mirror really, really, he didn't get like Zombot there, but really decent Bad Moon Rising nonetheless. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of things that deal with the Undying Pharaoh. This is also turning into a 7-drop. That's stupid. Rodeo. K. Okay. Coming in here, I guess. Now what? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, we could get Pine Claw now. And then play for, like, Berry Blast. I don't think I used my ultimate. What superpower did I use? More Spore, Super, Scorch, Weed Whack. What superpower did I use? I don't remember. I didn't use my ultimate. I, I think I'm going to do this and then play for Block Super to face. Or, sec or top deck berry blast. He's not gonna like make this survive. You know, most he could do is leap it. Double leap would suck here. Please not second leap. So this dies. Block super to face wins this game. Oh, first we have to block. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> For the best two guys, let's go! <laughs> that was a comeback. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! <laughs> we did it, boys! Hell yeah! Oh, highlight comp. Highlight comp big time. Oh man, what an ending. Chad's catching up to the highway. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was a classic, classic back and forth comeback game. Roller coaster, man. Hi Fry, how are you? The PVZ potential update is making me so excited on the small chance it happens. Yeah, I'm excited too. We're all excited. Hopefully it actually happens, man. I don't I again I have not been informed if this is actually happening, but uh, you know. Uh I guess we have our fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, that was the uh Pine Clone Sunstrike deck. It it came together. I don't think the pumpkin was right, but Maybe really, uh, once we took out the molecules and put in the gloom shrooms, so really all the little puff shrooms and the shrimp for twos became a lot better. I think that is the key of Pine Clone decks, is have other ways of utilizing them. Who knows? Maybe Cro-Magnolia. Uh, maybe Cro-Magnolia would have been good. Anyway, that was all. That was the, uh, that was the, the thing. The answer is yes. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry. <laughs>